Hey guys, so it's um, day two, day two in LA, and we're about to set off to Juan's house, Juan Olaretti from uh, the Mars Volta, even though the Mars Volta aren't playing together anymore, but you know, we're gonna find out all about that today, and his site, pedals, pedalsandeffects.com, so if you haven't checked that website out yet, do it, because it is a super, super cool resource. What we've been doing today, we've had a total scheduling nightmare this morning, as expected. We had a zillion emails this morning saying, oh, can we move your interview to here, and this one to there, and so we've been calling people and emailing people, and that's just, you know, I expected it. Um, Lawrence is pulling his hair out. Um, he hasn't got much hair though, so, you know, there's not much, that much hair to pull out, but he's been a bit stressed about the, uh, the scheduling situation, but, you know, that's what he's there, that's what he's here for, so it's okay. And, uh, and so we're about to set off, what other, what other nightmares have we got going on at the minute? It's really hard to upload these, uh, the vlogs, we've got one uploading at the minute. What are we on? 32% uploaded to YouTube for the first vlog, which you'll have watched already if, you, if you're watching this one. The internet connection here is okay, but when you're uploading videos that are like a gig, it is a little gnarly, <laughs> to say the least. So, you know, it'll be fine. We'll get it uploaded, who knows when. Um, it's just something we, uh, we're we gonna have to deal with. Had a super funny situation this morning, because I edited that, that video on my iPhone, and and we couldn't get it off the iPhone. It was just stuck on the iPhone. I didn't have enough storage. I got a bit carried away and got loads of footage. And then the iPhone decided that it was just not going to let us export it from the from the phone. So this morning, all the, you know, with we had the uh, the scheduling nightmare, which we're kind of going through still at the minute. We had the scheduling nightmare, but we also had the nightmare of trying to get the video off the phone. And it's, it, it took like um, this is no word of a lie, man. It took nearly two hours to get that video off the phone, so super cool. Denmark misses is uh, on the phone upstairs and sailing. <laughs> He's saying shh. Anyway, let's do this. on our way back from Juan's studio went wicked we've been getting stuck into all the effects over there um, he has got a lot of effects guys like how many effects do you think he's got like thousand I don't know on them shells probably thousand maybe, maybe yeah, probably. like super super cool stuff Vin like ampegs P bases some serious gear porn going on and uh, now we're flying back or driving back to um, Laurel Canyon, where we're hooking up with Sean Hurley, and we've got an hour to get there. Finished, uh, finished an epic interview with uh, with Sean Hurley. We did it here in the house um, on this couch. We've just been we're just packing up the uh, packing up the gear now. Lawrence is just booking a uh, 
He's up. Well, he's booking a table at the uh, the pizza place, the Ita the pizza place, the Italian place down the road. We're absolutely like you know so hungry because the the interview went on, guys, for two hours. So it was like so cool. Um, Sean Hurley is such a cool guy. But in keeping with this this video series that I'm doing to promote the uh, the upcoming podcast, right? To uh, Lawrence. I'm, I'm just on the. Uh, I'm <laughs> I, um, in keeping with the um, the tips, I want to do like a little tip every day. Okay, so um, and Sean gave us this awesome tip that is, and I've never I've never heard of anybody doing this before. I'm sure some guys out there might have heard this before. But yesterday we did a tip on um, on traveling. I, I told you about traveling with your base and how to. Uh, how to sneak your base on uh, onto the plane. So if you haven't checked that out, check out the video that I released yesterday. It was like, a, I'm just doing like a daily vlog thing, okay? And while I'm in LA and, um, you know, documenting this interview series that I'm putting together, there's gonna be a podcast and we're going to be putting uh, bits of the interviews on YouTube and all that, all those shenanigans. But in keeping with this, okay, so Sean gave, I'm just gonna sit down. Sean gave us this great tip about putting Vaseline on your strings. So, Sean uses uh, flat wound strings a lot of the time. Sean Hurley, by the way, if you haven't heard of him, um, plays with um, John Mayer, he's played with Alicia Keys, he's done some film score stuff, um, he's done some stuff with Robin Thicke, you know, so like super, super experienced guy. And he uses flat wounds generally on a P bass and if any of you guys have used flat wounds before, you'll know that they sound way better once they've been worn in, right? You have to go through this sort of like pain period um, when you first put them on of them just not sounding like those real vintagey flat wounds, which is why, you know, some guys have had the same strings, flat wound strings on for years. In fact, Phil Chen, who we should be hooking up with this week, um, has had the same strings on for years, like 20 years or something like that, okay. And Sean was saying he he had to put um, new flat rounds on, on a bass. And I can't remember who, who he got the tip from. But this guy said, you know, get a little bit of Vaseline on some toilet paper and just run it up and down each string, okay, and then just wipe off the residue. And it, and it is essentially, it just, the Vaseline ingrains into the string and takes out that, that super, you know, that zingy sound that you really, you know, you don't want on flat wounds. Um, and, and he'd done it with his, um, with his signature bass. He's got a Fender signature bass and he'd done it with that. And honestly, it sounded, you know, those, those strings sounded years old. So, that's the tip today, guys. If you're putting new flat wounds on a bass and you want to get that more vintagey flat wound tone um, straight away, just get a tiny bit of Vaseline and rub it up and down each string and then take the residue off. And you'll get that, that real great vintagey flat wound tone straight away from a new set of flat wound strings. And, uh, and that's the tip for today. So now I think it's, I think it's pizza time. Okay, we're back from the pizza place. I really did want to catch some of the pizza, you know, some of the action in the pizza place, the Italian, should I say? But um, it was so dark in there, it was like a cave, so uh, we had to leave it. We had to leave it. What an awesome pizza, by the way. Like, superb. My, my, my judgment might be uh, swayed a little bit because I haven't eaten at all today other than that pizza, but it was awesome all the same. I'm just back now, it's midnight here over in LA at the minute and um, just going through my emails, one of my uh, not so commonly known, obviously you know I'm a bass player, but you, you probably don't know that I am I am a master at email. I get a lot of emails every day. My email, my inbox, I probably get about 30 emails a day on average. That's just to me personally, like Scott's Bass Lessons gets around anywhere between 100 and 150 a day, but um, me personally, I get about probably about 30 to 50 emails a day that I need to manage. Um, and so every night before I go to bed, I just need to get into the inbox and just, you know, 
do some uh, inbox management and put things in folders and files to fix them up and get them in the right place. And I've just heard back from Ricky Miner actually, and Ricky Miner, we're just hooking up with Ricky Miner hopefully. He's, uh, he's, up for, he's up for doing it and we're just trying to organize a time which is super cool because I thought, you know, we, we might miss him on this trip. So it looks like that is on. And then tomorrow we've got um, Andrew Goucher in the morning and then we've got uh, Rufus Philpot in the evening or four o'clock around that time anyway. And then I think we're supposed to be going to a gig in the evening or something like that. Uh, Lawrence is dealing with all that. So I'm just kind of sort of like, I'm winging it. Uh, but yeah, all together an epic day. I'm really pleased. We're in, we, we've done three interviews so far. So we've had uh, Chris Cheney, Juan Alderetti, and, and today we had, and, and just tonight we had Sean Hurley. Um, so we've done three three interviews and we've been here kind of a day and a half. To be fair, I feel like I've done 30 interviews. I am feeling slightly weathered, but I think um, we're aiming to, you know, get between that 10 and 12 mark by the time we, uh, by the time Sunday comes, we're traveling home on Sunday. So hopefully that'll happen. It's been a, you know, a, a, an exciting ride with the schedule in it's uh, as always, uh, it, 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 it's tough to you know to to work around people's schedules because people are getting gigs and studio dates that are coming in last minute so we're having to move things around and then taking into consideration the LA traffic and stuff like that it can get a little hairy but so far we've managed it and we haven't had any disasters so all is looking good so this is the end of day two I will see you tomorrow for day three <music> Oh,